Hello to everyone. Now I'm going to show you how you can predict the earthquake with my system which I call ECAPS. ECAPS stand for Igor Costello's Early Earthquake Prediction System. So now I will show you how you can predict strong earthquake anywhere in the world but before i show you that i have to warn you that this is not possible to do to do it manually so you can just take the position of the sun and the moon for example and calculate the earthquake because the sun and the moon it's moving non-stop so there is no there is no time that the moon and the sun will wait for you to calculate their position in the sky which are in alignment with some other uh, space body which are also moving sometimes like a comet very fast so I'm going to show you how this works and uh, I do have a software who can calculate in advance the earthquake because this is practically impossible but theoretically it's very simple and easy so I'm going to show you, uh, I pick up this uh, earthquake, I can, I can show you this with any earthquake in the world, which is stronger than 5, 5, 8, even uh, weaker probably, I never uh, try my system with a weak earthquake because I am not interesting for the weak earthquakes, so what I'm interested in is the strong earthquake above the 6, Richter scale because this earthquake and also earthquakes above the 5, especially 5.5, five, 5.6, five, five, 5.7, five, 5.8, five, 5.9 five, are very dangerous and they can make cause a lot of damage on the buildings, in the towns, in the tunnels, on the streets, etc, etc, viaduct. So, we will take now the Tonga earthquake for an example. So what you need for a quick prediction, you need map of the world with one degree grid, which I already have. So first thing what you need to find the epicenter of the earthquake is the position of the moon and the sun so we are not going to use i'm not going to use this time position of the comet i will show you how the earthquake is predictable just according to the position of the moon and the sun very simple now we have position of the of this earthquake we have also the uh, longitude and latitude this is here of this earthquake okay so uh, I already enter the place of the earthquake on the map just to show you how my system it's very precisely and how I according to the data of position moon and the sun coming exactly on the same place where the epicenter is without any calculation this is very important so any earthquake i can find any earthquake epicenter according to position of the moon and the sun so first what you need you need to go to the day and night day and night world map so day and night world map 
It's a time and date com. www.timeanddatecom.com. Okay. Here it is. Time and date com. In time and date com, you have map of the world with the position of the moon and the sun. You see that here. So, but this is when you open the when you open the page web page. Uh, the, the data that you will see is the momentary data at that moment when you will watch the page. So, to see the uh, position of the sun uh, in the time when it's uh, earthquake occur in the Tonga, you need to read first in the earthquake data when this it happened. So. That was uh, January 13 at 5.56.01 second UTC standard time. So you go here and you change, find the sun in another time in location. So you can go backward, but you can go forward also, you understand? So now we have day 13, month 1st, year 2016, hour 5, minute 56 second one now it must be in the UTC standard time because here the all data are in UTC standard time so you must match this time okay I'm not going to use now the Croatian time I'm going to use UTC time now when you have this, you you press change time. You see here, and the program on the web page will show you the position of the moon and the sun in the moment of the earthquake, and this is very important. Now, you scroll down this page. And you have position of the sun and position of the moon. Now, you enter this data into the map of the world. L latitude and longitude. Same you do for the moon. Position of the moon, latitude, longitude. Now, what I did with to my system, I will show you that. First, I to show you this is the epicenter, this here. So let me show you where is the epicenter, just a moment. Okay, this is the epicenter here, you see that? So what you do now you enter the coordinates of the sun and of the moon in that way that you draw the line of the meridian and the parallel at a certain value. Here it is. So, and you can also uh, color this line differently, differently for the sun, differently for the moon, differently for the epicenter of the of the earthquake. So you enter the coordinates of the sun. I usually do that with a yellow, with a yellow, here it is, with the yellow uh, lines. And here is the position of the sun, this is the sun. Now, what I do, did in my system, I did, I add some additional lines here. And these lines are same as uh, position of the moon and the sun only they are the opposite so if you if you have a sun at a position of the where is the yellow line here we have to read the position let's say 90 90 degrees east you must enter also the 90 degrees west that's what I call the negative lines. Negative position of the sun. It's like uh, a mirror, you know, like a mirrored position. 
So everything what you do for the moon and the sun, you must do in the in the mirror the system in that way that you enter the opposite coordinates with the same color of course into the map when you did that now this is my secret and I'm not going to tell you why do I do something in that way because this is this is the, the core of my this is the secret of my program so this is the uh, wait just a moment this is the epicenter of the earthquake now watch i will draw the line and i will tell you which line i draw because i write it on a paper and i will read it to you so this is the first line i draw position of the sun with the crossing point of the negative sun parallel and negative sun meridian this is the first line as you can see this line passing right through the center of the epicenter okay now the second line it's here the second line i connect positive sun meridian and negative sun parallel crossing point with the crossing point of the negative sun meridian and positive sun parallel so when i do this i come i came exactly on the epicenter of the earthquake you see that so i will show you now here that this is the same area let me show you that we can uh, blow this up or no we, we can uh, we will zoom out to show you where is the where was the okay so here is the here is the uh, earthquake and now i will show you earthquake here it's right here in the middle so okay zoom this in and show you this here this is the epicenter my epicenter is it's even more accurate accurate uh, than official than official epicenter so my epicenter is perfectly uh, in a place now uh, i can zoom out this and show you this this is uh, the place so uh, i don't know if you can see this well this is some samoa here and uh, fiji island and here oh i must uh, now blow this here it is you see samoa fiji islands you know we are here so this is the this is perfectly perfectly preci precisely perfectly and precisely so just according to the position of the moon and the sun i came exactly in the center of the epicenter i didn't use any any other data just the data of the sun and the moon position any earthquake in the world it's possible to calculate in that mode so if we can go backward we can go also forward because if i can do that for thousand earthquakes and i always come precisely in the epicenter with my with with the position of the moon i found the epicenter of the earthquake which 
or the occurred, that means that I can, in advance, with a program who will calculate this very fast, you need a, a, a stronger computer, but I think that you can also do that with a, with a home computer, with a PC, because uh, uh, maybe you need, uh, I don't know, a few hours or, or, or I don't know, uh, depend on the power of your, or, of your uh, processor and the memory RAM of, of your computer, but uh, it also depends how the software will be built, because if the software is uh, in a bad, uh, in a bad, how can you say, uh, if someone, if someone make software in a bad way so that can may slow the computer very very hard so in 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 a case that someone could make and calculating uh, calculating uh, software who will calculate it very fast in every for every second for every second including position of the moon and the sun and also other planets and uh, also the comets and the orbit of the comets. So this is a, I mean, a, a big, big calculation, you understand? This is very, very big calculation. This is not something that I can predict. Uh, asking me to predict in advance an earthquake is, uh, it's very stupid. Because we have 2,300 comets. We have what uh, we cannot uh, uh, count for the earth but we can we say we have moon we have sun then we have uh, what uh, pluto saturn jupiter neptune Uran, uh, I did i said moon I, I think i said moon then uh, we have uh, mars we have uh, venus we have mercury so this is 10 another additional 10 uh, bodies times 2,000 uh, 2,300 comets time 60 seconds in one minute and time 60 minutes in one hour time 60 uh, 44 hour for a day can you imagine what kind of combination is that so to someone ask me to calculate the the incoming uh, earthquake in that way that can only be someone who is complete idiot in head in his brain you understand it because every second this is moving but there is a winning lottery in this winning combination in this uh, future hours, future seconds. So there is somewhere is laying this combination which leads to an epicenter. Do you understand that? So uh, this is it. Earthquakes are predictable because if earthquakes are not predictable, I will never, I repeat, I will never find the epicenter of the earthquake that occur and just using the data of position moon and the sun in the time of the earthquake this is not possible people this is not any coincidence this is ECAPS my program for prediction the earthquakes how did I get this all how, how did I come on the did it, idea this is a long story and uh, I mean really long story because uh, first I thought that earthquakes are depending only on the moon phases and then I realized the certain constellations are always above the area where the earthquake occur. So I thought 
that the constant something in, in constellation it's responsible for this earthquakes so I realized that Draco constellation which is rotating uh, above the Europe and above the Balkan and, and, and the place where I live every time when the legs and the tail of the Draco touch certain position we have an earthquake so always earthquake was always when the uh, top of the leg top of the nail of, 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 of uh, Draco and the top of the tail always it was always at the at the top of this at the top of this part of this its body you know so I I didn't know what what was there until I found that comets are inside this constellation and these comets are not remaining all the time in the same constellation so they are staying there a while and after a while they are moving they are going away to another constellation and then another comets come on another position in in some other constellation anyway uh, I think that there is something more here which is which make this situation more simple that it really that that really is so that's how I come uh, to that idea and then one day I tried something and I found the epicenter and I try again and I find the epicenter and again and again and again and again and I spend nights and days and weeks and years I don't know how many hours I did uh, do, did that until I found that when I was over with this I said oh my god I cannot believe this this is this is not possible so I I I don't believe to myself and then I do it again and again and again and again and again and again in any any earthquake and then you know what's happened in uh, let's say uh, two or three earthquakes from the thousand of earthquakes it's not working and then I realized that these earthquakes are not natural earthquakes I mean they are not caused by the uh, influence of the sun and the moon they are artificial earthquakes made by CERN and HARP when you have earthquake like this you will never get alignment in the epicenter never because it's not matching the power of the space and uh, I have something more to show you but I will do that next time and uh, you will see I have one idea oh, I, I think something it's, it's working in some way and I will explain that to you in the next video here on the earthquake channel and uh, you will see that it, it's got a lot of sense in that's what I'm going to tell you so here it is earthquakes are predictable thank you very much and stay tuned